his praise. And we believe that man one time he will come to know Christ. He was telling us, these guys are driving, they come from Japan. Japanese are not Christians. Praise the Lord. These phones are missing. They come from China. Chinese are not Christians. So this message is just, and he was using very bad words. And he said, you people, come out of this slavery and go and enjoy your life out there. And he felt Mungu is idea. Praise the Lord. And that's why this revival is important. That we come here and get renewed. Amen. And this night we talk, talk about something that we all need. Yes, we are, we are here. We may change our pace and we think happy. And we have a good ground. But there is something we need that is more than money. There is something we need that is more than cars. And this is called the favor of God. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Favor of God is what we need. Amen. Amen. Yes, finances are good. Cars are good. Big names are good. But there is something that is more important than all those. It's called the favor of God. Praise be to God. Favor makes you to be accepted. When we have no heart rejected you, praise be to God. Do I make you to be approved where some other people have disapproved you? Praise be to God. And favor means the grace of God. And this is what we should pray for, even in this vision. Praise be to God. When you walk with favor, my brother, my sister, your life changes. Everything else is impacted when the favor of God is upon you. Your finances are impacted. If you walk with the favor of God, praise be to God. Your family is impacted when the favor of God is upon you. Praise be to God. And if there is something we should pray for, even in this mission, it is the favor of God to rest upon us. Praise be to God. This favor of God came to a, a certain village called Nasheba, located a young girl called Mary. And Jesus was born because somebody got favor from the Lord. Praise be to God. Amen. And David prayed in Psalms 90, verse 17, that may the favor of God rest upon us now, and may God establish the works of our hands. Praise be to God. So, brethren, even when we wake up in the morning, when we are praying, when we are going for door to door, when we are having our crusades, we should pray that the favor of God may rest upon us. Praise be to God. Favor means grace, acceptance, approval. God. Favor means you have the heavenly backing, praise be to God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible says in Luke 2.52 that Jesus grew in three things. Amen. He didn't grow in, he didn't grow in money, but the Bible says that he grew in stature, he grew in wisdom, but he also grew in favor with God and men. Praise be to God. Brethren, if there is something we need, it's the favor of God. Amen. Praise be to God. On this was the we say my amen, as we said yesterday, amen in the church of Nimi. In Jesus' name, praise be to God. I won't keep you for long, I know we are tired. I want us to read uh, Psalms, Psalms chapter 5 and verse 12. Why do we need this favor of God? Come them with your favor as with a shield. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that God surrounds the righteous with his favor as with a shield. I tell you, brethren, favor is a shield. Praise the Lord. A shield to protect you. A shield to guide you. A shield to surround you and shield you from the arrows of the evil one. Amen. We are safe under God's favor. The Bible says that the favor of God is a shield. A shield which will come to protect us. Amen. When you talk of a shield, I want you to remember people who are fighting. They are always to have a shield. Even in the armor of God, we all have the shield of faith. The favor of God is a shield. When you walk without favor, you will be struggling. You are not protected. You don't have the shield of God. Somebody say that labor without favor is struggle. Praise be to God. When you labor without the favor of God, you are just struggling. But when you pray for the favor of God, that favor will act like a shield into your life. Praise be to God. So when you pray for favor, when you walk with the favor of God, you have the shield because the Bible says the Lord will surround his people as with a shield. Praise be to God. The favor of God may be upon you this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that this shield of God be upon each and every one of us, even as we go to our Lord's door, even as we continue with this uh, 
to this uh, mission. A shield means protection against the evil. During wars, during temptations, to protect something from attacking you, God's favor is our defender. God's favor is our protector. Praise be to God. So this night, even as we continue with on this mission, I want to remind all of us that we are walking under God's favor. And in every morning, we should be covering ourselves with God's favor. Praise be to God. Amen. Proverbs 16, 15 says what? Proverbs 16 says, When a king's face brightens, it means life. His favor is like a rain. Praise be to God. His favor is like a cloud of rain. Amen. Praise be to God. When the rain of God comes upon you, you will not wither. Praise the Lord. Praise be to God. Bible says we are planted in the house of God and we will flourish like the cedars of Lebanon. For you to flourish, the Bible says that the favor of God is like that rain. Praise be to God. How can you Utazama tunda in season and out of season. Praise be to God. I want to say this that we have so many people who walk in favor in the Bible. We have a record of so many people who, with favor, they were not just ordinary men, they were just ordinary people. But when the favor of God located them, their stories changed because of that favor of God. Praise be to God. And the first person we see is Joseph. The Bible says that Joseph at the age of 17, with God-given dreams, he was hated by his brothers. What Joseph experienced, sometimes you will experience in your life. You will experience a rejection. You will experience betrayal. You will experience temptation. Praise be to God. But when the favor of God is upon you, your story will change in the name of Jesus Christ. Joseph walked through the pit. You can be in the pit of life. But even if you are in your pit, when the favor of God is upon you, you will still come up. Praise be to God. Joseph was thrown in the pit. I don't know which pit you are in tonight. You can be, you can be the pit of betrayal like Joseph was. You could be in the pit of uh, temptations like Joseph was. You could be in the pit of uh, bitterness from people who are around you. And everybody has got a pit in life. All of us will have a pit experience. But when the favor of God is upon you, regardless of that pit, regardless of that betrayal, when favor locates you, you will still rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. And tonight I pray for this favor to be upon each and every one of us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Regardless of where you are, may that favor locate you. The Bible says that even when he was at Potiphar's wife, when he was in the pit, when he was in prison, I don't know why everything he was going through was starting with a pit. The pit, Potiphar is there, the, which else? The prison, but there is a final P that is important. When the favor of God is upon you, yes. the final P is the palace. Oh, yes. And may this favor take you out of that pit yes. and locate you to your palace oh, yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. The Bible says in Genesis 39, verse uh, 20, that Joseph's master took him and put him in prison. But while in prison, the Lord was with him and granted him favor in the eyes of the prisoners. Praise be to God. Amen. Even in that, when the favor of God is upon you, doesn't matter who hated you, doesn't matter who put you in that pit, when the favor of God locates you, brethren, your story will change in the name of Jesus Christ. And this is what I pray for tonight, for each and every one of us, that this favor will rest upon us. Amen. Amen. Somebody else was Daniel. We know the story of Daniel. Amen. How King Nebuchadnezzar came and besieged their city and they were taken captive with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But what made Daniel to stand out in Daniel number, uh, chapter number 1 from verse 9? Now Daniel had caused a God, now God had caused the officials to show favor and sympathy to Daniel. 
Praise be to God. What made Daniel to make them? Not that because he didn't eat the king's uh, food. Because of one thing that was upon him. The favor of God. Praise be to God. Brethren, if there is anything you can ask for tonight, don't even ask for money. Don't ask for material. Just ask for the favor of God to be upon you. When this favor fell upon Daniel, his soul changed. And we know the how he went and he became the governor. God's favor can come to us regardless of how difficult our circumstances seem. And no matter where we are, praise be to God. Daniel was in a foreign country. Amen? Daniel was taken to Babylon. But even in that foreign country, because the favor of God was with him, he still excelled. Praise be to God. Favor is not a respecter of the environment. Favor does not uh, respect our circumstances. Praise be to God. Wherever you are, as long as the favor of God locates you, I tell you, my brother, my sister, you are destined to greatness. Praise be to God. We all know the story of Esther in the Bible. How she was, she was taken by Mordecai and how she excelled. The Bible says in Esther 2.15, I don't know if you can read. In Esther chapter number 2, verse 15, whoever will get can read for us how Esther obtained favor from the Lord. The Bible says that Esther won the favor of everyone who saw her. Praise be to God. We know how the story went. So tonight, I want us to pray for this favor of God to rest upon each and every one of us. And how do you receive favor? You receive favor that we will read this to see how we obtain favor. By being faithful and loving God. Proverbs chapter number 3 from verse 1. This one will read. Proverbs chapter number 3 from verse 1. We will read from verse 3. Proverbs 3, 3. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Praise the Lord. When you are faithful to God, you will win favor. When you love God, you will win favor. Praise be to God. Want us to stand up. I don't know where you are in your life. I want us just to tell God to his favor to rest upon us. I said I want to keep you for long and people are tired. But brethren, if there is something we need in this mission, yes, we have contributed, we have fundraised, and we are here. But I feel we still need the favor of God to be upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Just go before the Lord, tell him, Father, we need your favor. We need your unmerited grace. We need your approval. We need your acceptance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we need your favor. We need that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. May the favor of God rest upon us as there is a prayer in Psalms 90. That the favor of God rest upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray for this favor, dear Lord.